Assalamualaikum everyone and um, welcome to my YouTube channel Lead to CSS Press. So we are going to overview today current affairs of 1st August 2022. So first we are going to re overview the Pakistan. So in politics on 1st August there were efforts by the armed forces to provide relief. Uh, so in rain, so it was rain. Rain. So in rain, uh, in the area of rain, the efforts were the armed forces to provide relief to the flood hit region across Pakistan continued. Once, um, uh, said the ISPR in a press release, really, uh, the military media wing said groups are busy rescue relief efforts apart from providing medical care and opening up communication in the infrastructure. Besides that, in on the area of econ economics, uh, the PSO was heading towards the default default situation as the receivables swelled on all time high of Rs. 605 billion. The petroleum division had submitted a summary for funds of the PSO to meet the company needs. So uh, the state, as PSO a state owned company, so the economic coordination company released 30 billion fund for the for the PSO to um, uh, to stop to constrain uh, to constrain itself from defaulting on international payments besides that um, ambassador of Uzbekistan um, to Pakistan uh, Ibek Arif uh, said that Pakistan and Uzbekistan intended to um, uh, uh, intended to come together for the economic uh, for the bilateral trade of up to 1 billion dollars in the upcoming to, uh, to two years besides that i am executive board um, meeting could take place before august 20 um, as i am a likely to begin trying to release process this week hope hope um, record the loan record the loan um, uh, very soon So coming towards the international news on the in the United uh, 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 from the country United States, uh, United States Secretary Pelosi, who uh, currently is in Taiwan, uh, now said in a statement that she is leading a congressional delegation to Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and Japan, basically the Asian cities, to discuss trade, pandemic, climate change, and security and democratic governance. Um, uh, as uh, Pelosi, uh, Pelosi previously visited Taiwan which is a uh, area of discussion and China gave um, I give uh, give uh, I give a give a, a warning to United States to not come into the fire um, uh, but, and uh, Pelosi didn't mention Taiwan again now uh, in a statement where he she um, where Pelosi is going to uh, visit the Asian countries um, Besides that, at least 16 people have been confirmed dead in as the floods was going or it was going and recording the eastern uh, state of the United States, Kentucky. Um, Kentucky and death toll is expected to be rise as the search and rescue teams uh, rescue is going on. Um, uh, moving towards the Russia, they were heavy Russian. They were heavy Russian um, uh, strikes have hit the southern Ukrainian port city of Malokia today on 1st again and killed the owner of one of the country largest grain producer and exporting company um, like a company who, whose name is Oleski Odatarski um, uh, with him uh, with him his wife his wife um, his wife was with him also which was named as Nebulon was Robert was killed um, by the heavy Russian strikes coming towards the india the um, india it was uh, it was it was stated that uh, the unemployment rate in indian illegally illegally occupied jammu and kashmir was about 20 percent of the 9 10 since the abrogation of article 370 of indian constitution august 2019 was imposed according to official sources the employment rate in uh, indian 
illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir was about um, before August was 14.74 percent, so, but now um, uh, but now it 21.08 percent. So um, in 2022 March it was 25 percent. So there's almost three times the national average of the month. Uh, unemployment among the educated youth um, uh, was 46.3 percent only behind Kerala with the number of 47 percent. Um, moving towards the China, the, the rocket of China was uh, on the space. The debris from a rocket that boosted part of China new space station into orbit fell into the sea of the earth in the Philippines on Sunday. The Chinese government announced the China says remain of rocket booster fall to earth. This was highly combined and condemned by the United States as Chinese didn't reported previously previously before the rocket boost boost to this space. China report later on when the debris from a rocket boosted out fall to the Earth. We are coming towards the Afghanistan. There was a border fight between the forces of Iran, Afghanistan, Taliban, um, going on, which 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 left the one dead, according to local local Afghan official, um, a local Afghan official, and the 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 one dead person was a Taliban soldier, and another has been wounded on Sunday. So let's come to the hot topic which we discuss daily, which was climate. And um, today, for August 2022, Yemen honey production is become a victim of war or a climate crisis. But majorly, it was called as it was due to a climate crisis crisis that years of catastrophic war since 2014 and climate change take the buzz out of what used to be lucrative business and um, when asked uh, from the one when when asked from one man in German village before there was there were 340 highs but now only 80 left so one of the important editorials among the important important editorials we are going to discuss is gender disparity so the global gender gap in the first estimated back in 2006 was um, uh, in 146 countries was 68.1 Person and the uh, an improvement was gained in 2021. Gender disparity scores are 67.9 percent. It was going to increase and increase, um, but uh, in Pakistan ranks 145 on the global gender uh, gap in the second last only to Afghanistan. In 2022, the country has been able to close 56.4 percent of gender gap. Um, within this sub index, the positive addition was recorded because uh, this was going. Um, uh, 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 going increase and increase which is a very positive response um, and important for the national prosperity of the every uh, of every national prosperity national prosperity of every country so that's all about today uh, i hope you like the video if you like please like comment and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much